Hello there everybody, if you're looking for more action in your card fight vanguard playtesting or maybe you need some singles to finish out that deck, feel free to check out Alter Reality Games aka ARG. There's a link in the description down below that will take you directly to their website where you will be able to find singles, articles, event information, and more. The ARG circuit series is still ongoing so feel free to check out that website for the latest information because who knows, maybe one of their regionals will be near your location. So feel free to check them out. Take care guys. What's going on guys, it's the Alphonse of Team Greylock here uh, bringing you guys a quick deck profile today. Uh, this time we have uh, Sam here of Team ONS, he's bringing you guys his uh, Gold Paladin decks pre-GB10. So uh, you guys get to see what the deck looks like before the set comes out and then you'll get to see it how the, the deck uh, evolves after the set comes out. But without further ado, I'm going to take it over to Sam, he'll explain what he does, why he does it, all that fun stuff. Yeah guys, so I made slight altercation, uh, changes to the deck because of uh, the new support in what set was that John? Eight? What? Uh, whatever set glorious. Sure. So set seven, I made cha small changes to it. The deck performs a lot smoother now. Um, oh, and Revival Collection. Did anything come from Revival Collection? Uh, nothing that I put in the deck. Okay, cool. Um, so, just, just, uh, starter is the same. I'm going to not explain any of the old cards because you know what they do. So starter, I'll put up some pictures probably, but other than that. He does starter things. He superior calls. All right, so grade threes. <laughs> we have three. I mean four. I, I can't do math. Math, right. sorry. Four. Gurgu. You guys know what Gurgut does. Now I have all four SPs. It feels great. I mean, I had SPs before, but I had some of the old ones. That's neither here nor there. All right. Three. SP Ezel Scissors. This is for the Link Joker matchup. Specifically only for the Link Joker matchup? Only for the Link Joker matchup. Then when Henry, Maybe Seven Seas Rush. Because when Henry and uh, John flip up their Chaos Breakers, you're just like, surprise. Yeah. And then I go, my one tech, my dongle, he intercepts, he boosts, he's a super unit. All right, grade twos. We have my tech of choice, Thamgul. I don't know why no one else is running this card. It's stupid plus. The deck gets power naturally, and this card is just so good. It doesn't waste counter blast. Like, you people need to run this card. It's busted. So busted, I'm not running for it. <laughs> We've got four pill because- This card is busted. <laughs> this card is busted. It makes stupid numbers on our scourge point turns. It makes- It helps you set up for those. It helps you set up. It's, it's just, I, <sighs> words. Words are hard. Words are hard. We have two. Uh, what is your name? Perrymore. Perrymore. He's SP. Um, you guys know what he does. He gets, he becomes an 11k attacker with Unite. Now, one of the first changes to the deck. I put in two Brugals and I took out the two resist units. He just, he becomes a 19 when you call him on a Scourge Point turn. He gets so big so quickly because of that extra plus five. It's, this card makes a huge difference. I just, I can't see myself running more than two. Uh, Famgol is too good not to run. Perrymore is uh, extra superior calling. Um, this guy is just a beat stick. That's why I'm only running two. All right, more changes. I was running four Jeffrey before. Now I'm only running three. I needed to make some room for this new awesome grade one. And now the new awesome grade one. I'm running three. Horsa. Her Horsa. Horsa. This dude is busted. As soon as his Unite activates, plus two to him, plus two to the card in front of him. It doesn't need to be called from the deck. You can call cards from your hand and your field gets power. And if he is the second card to be called, triggering Unite, his effect activates. Rulings. Yeah. Rulings are good. Four PGs, because we like to call them from the deck or off of our G-Guard. Four OG PGs. And finally, four SP Pitch for Strides, because Pitch for Strides are awesome. All right, 
Moving along, trigger lineup. We've got four heel triggers. You know, these are pretty. They remind me of that OG Aichi heel trigger from Royals. That's why I run it. Similar art. I like Napco. Get out of here with your Napco. <laughs> Two of the unflipping stand triggers because it becomes a 7k and it unflips. You know, we like counter blasts, we need to unflip. And this card has become very important because I took out the grade twos that unflip. For catch goal, I've seen a couple more people put catch goal in the deck, but it's not like super prominent yet. Catch Goal is a busted card that needs to be run. It gets you redos on your superior calls. Plus on Scorch Point, it just makes it even bigger. Exactly. I've gone from running two of this crit trigger for Gurgu to running four, not only because I got all four SPs, but because in certain situations, like when I'm on my kill turn, I need soul. I can get soul in my battle phase. I can't, this is during the main phase, it's just, this is better for me now. It's it's weird because I used to say that this card was better, but I've found more use in this crit trigger. So I'm running two Flame of Victory and four of this. Stride zone time. Oh yeah. Stride zone, the stride zone has changed slightly also. Um, we're still running the two Scourge Point. Scourge Point is great. Um, this is definitely going down to one when set 10 comes out, but we're not going to get into that. I'm still running the one Campbell in case I'm at like five damage by my first turn stride. My opponent's just been wailing on me and I need some advantage because he's free value if he hits. We're running two Glorious Raining. Um, I'm in need of two more SPs, so if you guys have them, let me know. Um... I definitely gonna be running four Glorious Raining when set 10 comes out, but right now I think two is fine just for the mid game. Slash end game. Slash end game. But I mean, this dude is still great end game. Um, you guys know what he does. He does things, um, gets your board stupid power. Last night I won a game because I had like no hand, like barely assembled a board and then gave it fucking Plus 75, like, let's go. <laughs> Stupid numbers. Uh, we're running Ezel for the Link Joker matchup. Um, I can just use Scissor's skill against Link Joker, but this stride unlocks the whole board and gets power for one counter blast. You can't beat that. We have, this dude was MVP way back in the day. This dude, nobody plays him, it's okay. He's just, when I run out of counter blasts and I'm still in the game, like why aren't, why isn't my opponent dead yet? Well, okay, let's go make some numbers. He makes the numbers we need. We're running the one Seabreeze because he's a Seabreeze. Sippus. The one Dismal that's coming out in set 10 because I don't need him. Like, I, I don't need Dismal, but he's here for now. And finally, Four of the Gold Paladin G Guardian. Um, Slay me Flare. Golds haven't gotten their new G Guardian just yet, but Slay me does the job. With all the extra guarding that Gurgut gives us, sometimes I just want to tuck away a unit to use it later, and that's that's I don't have to call anything off of his effect. Also, if you think about it, it's also kind of like like pseudo security for that unit. So like, say if you're playing against Kagero or like something like, like Link Choker, it's like you just have to tuck it away before they lock it or tuck it away before they target it or anything. So. Exactly. And, you know, I can also just deck thin, like grab grade threes off the guard and just get rid of them like that. All right, well, that's the deck. Uh, stay tuned because set 10 is right around the corner and I am ready for it. Yeah, so we'll have an updated profile for you guys once set 10 comes out and Sam gets all of his nice shiny SPs. Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. Oh, no. Uh, if you guys actually have any questions for Sam, please let us know in the comments below. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Always, always, we will see you guys in the next video. Later. Later. Wave bye to the people, Sam. Say bye. Bye, bye people.